Okay, friends, welcome back to Krusty Cranks. Um, we're going to paint this balsa bait. Um, let me show you what I did. At first, I went on and primed it with some white. Um, but what I did was I put a nice coat of epoxy on it because when you, sometimes when you get these little dings and little flaws in this balsa wood, you can put some epoxy on it and it gets a nice smooth surface to do your paint on. So that's what I did. Took a few days. I let it dry real good. Cause I didn't want it to be sticky. Um, I didn't want to fingerprint it all up. So got this guy here. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of pearl white on it. Of course. Um, we're going to put some pearl white on it and then we're going to do a couple things, a couple colors. Um, I got a stencil that I want to try out that I've never used before. Um, I bought this set of stencils thinking they were smaller than they really were. And they ended up being too big for small crankbaits, but I think they're going to work good on these. So I'm just going to zap it with a little pearl white here, and then I'll go through. We're only going to use a couple colors, so it's going to be an easy paint. So I really want to see what this does, um, what this looks like, this, this stencil pattern that I got. Uh, while that's drying, let me show you. I bought these stencils and um, it's kind of a snake skin and uh, there it was a lot bigger I mean I guess I could use it on some of them on crankbaits but it was a skin set so it was like a leopard and there's a bunch of different animal skins in there um, but they were all pretty big so uh, I think it's gonna work really good on this bait um, but we're gonna find out so let me clean this out and um, get the next color ready. Okay, I got this. Uh, I've never used this before. It's Wicked Opaque Limelight Green. Um, like I said, I've never used this before. I was over Hobby Lobby and I seen this color and I was like, oh, I don't have that color. So I grabbed it. Um, it sort of looks like the pearlized um, lime green. So we're going to see. As you can see it's a it's a little cleaner looking the pearlized limes kind of a darker and we might do both we might put a little of this on seeing how it looks on this pearl white and then we might come back with the pearlized green and then we're probably going to use um, detail moss green I think with for the stencil so a little bit of this in there see what it looks like how it sprays turn my pressure down It almost looks like the fluorescent green. My trigger's sticking. Time for a cleaning. Been painting a lot of baits. So. It's kind of a, imagine it'll get darker if you keep laying it on. Let's get 
the side a little more. Yeah, it's almost like the fluorescent green, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna switch brushes. This thing just ain't getting it, so. Okay, switch brushes here. It's a little better. Put a couple drops of reducer in there too. Seems like for me, Wicked Paints Spray better with a little reducer, a little 4011. Get a little better, a little better, smoother spray with a little bit of reducer. Yeah, it's going on there nice now. I want to get a couple little spots too. I want a little spots a little darker. It's definitely got that fluorescent glow to it, like the uh, fluorescent greens. Let's get this side a little more. clean this brush out so I'm getting a little I used black in it last I threw it in there so I'm getting a little black specks in there yeah definitely gonna have to take take a day and go through all my brushes give them a good cleaning let me know in the comments if you'd like to see how I clean my brushes I know there's a bunch of videos out there on how to clean your brushes airbrushes but if you want to see i'll definitely film it for you all right i'm gonna let that dry and i'll bring you back okay so next color we're going to use is this color shift by folk art and it's a color shift uh green flash all right so in order to spray this paint because it's so thick we want to put a little reducer in it. And I'm just going to show you guys how, how I like to reduce mine down. So I like to put a little reducer in there. And give a little stir. Mix it up real good. And I want to get it thin enough that it just runs off the tip. Um, now I know you can use water with these paints. Because um, they are water based. But what I've found is that by using reducer, 
it doesn't dry on you as fast um, as far as in your in your bowl or in your on your needle on your tip um, but if you can just get that consistency with the reducer It's just barely dripping off of there, so we can put a couple, little bit more. And like I said, this is just what I do, guys. You know, you do what you want. If you want to use water, use water. Um, I found out that the water kind of makes it more flaky. That's just what I've learned um, from using it. But I want to get it to where it's dripping off. Just like that pretty thin if I bring it up against the side it should run back down I think I'm gonna go a little bit more if you do this this paint will spray really nice I'm almost getting into the consist consistency of of golden colors if you know golden colors see how it see how it runs let's see if you can get it runs right off the tip um, if you can get it the consistency of golden I think golden is one of the best spray and paints the high flow all right so we're gonna put a little bit of this yellow flash green flash and we're gonna hit the bottom And we're just going to kind of blend it up into that green after we get the bottom covered. And put a little color shift to it. When you get it that thin, you want to be careful because it will start to run on you if you get it too too thick on your bait. But now you can see that blend. And I'm going to put a little bit of shift on here just for the color that's going to be under the scales. But not so much where it yellows out my green. A little bit on the face. And you're going to see once we put the epoxy on there, this color shift looks awesome. A little bit more on this side over here. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just putting enough to get a little shift in that green, lime, lime light green. So give it some air, dry it. And hit it till you get the consistency you like. And that's pretty much what I want right there. I don't want to go any darker because I don't want to lose my blend. I can still kind of see a hard line right here. So just blend that in a little bit. See this side here looks a little better. Alright. Clean this out. And I'll bring you back, but yeah, use a 4011 or 4012 with this color shift, and it'll spray real nice for you. Don't leave it in your brush oh, too long, because this stuff can make a mess out of your brush when if you let it dry up a little bit. It's it really flaky. Okay, next color we're going to use for our stencil is Detail Moss Green. And 
let's try to get this down where it hold this down a little bit turn my pressure down Okay, let me dry that and flip it over. I think I like it. Show you guys what it looks like. It's kind of cool. Something different. All right, let's do the other side. Maybe we'll turn it a little bit. gonna look cool. All right, let's get the top.
dogs are going crazy. Hopefully it's my delivery, my Amazon delivery. in the face and around the eyes. Just a little more. Kind of flip, fade it back a little bit. Oh, that's looking pretty cool. All right, we'll clean this out and we'll put our last color on. Okay, next last color, we're gonna put a little pearl orange, pearl tangerine. On the throat. Turn my spray up a little bit. A little more pressure. There we go. Okay.
I think we're going to go with that. Okay. Um, let's go put some eyes on this guy. And uh, I thought I put a little more orange on the tail. I thought the camera was on, but it wasn't. Um, but so, yeah. But anyway, um, on these eyes, in the past, I've used the, I call them China eyes because they all come from China. But um, I decided that on all my wooden baits, in the past I've used the other eyes, I want to start making my own eyes. For all my wooden baits so that all my wooden baits are all 100% handmade and these are the eyes I made and I'm gonna plan on doing a video so let me know in the comments if you would like to see a video on how to make your own eyes um, So I wanted big eyes on it. I wanted a big fat eye. So I made these. I had some different ones. And they have adhesive on the back. But there again. I put a little super glue on them. Just to make sure they stay. This is when I did my holes in the eyes and they started epoxy and paint and all that they filled in. Which they I could still I could still get the smaller eyes in there. But on the other balsa baits that I sold, I put smaller eyes on them. And I just think with this one, I want to go with the bigger eyes. kind of going with the snake pattern so yeah it's kind of a it's kind of an involved process but not really just getting the eyes designed and laid out This guy's ready for epoxy. So I'm going to epoxy him up. And I'll bring you back and show you the final the final piece. I'm sure those colors are really going to pop out. If, the, if you can see that color shifting from that green flash. I think it's going to look pretty cool. We'll find out. This is our first balsa bait online. So... Appreciate you guys watching. I'll bring you back and we'll show you the finished piece. Okay, friends, we're back with the finished uh, balsa bait paint. Um, it turned out pretty good, pretty good. Um, I, the more I looked at the stencil, I, I kind of like it, I guess, after I got the epoxy and everything on it. Um, you know, it was it, it's a little big. I was hoping for a little smaller spots, but uh, maybe it was just because I didn't use the right area of it, but... I'll play around with that more, probably with different combinations of things. We can probably get it looking good. Um, but, yeah, so the colors we use today, pearlized white, wicked opaque limelight green. Then we use the folk art color shift green flash. And then we uh, did the spots in the face in uh, detail moss green. And we did the chin and the tail and pearlized pearl orange so and then i put my homemade eyes on there so i really like the big eyes i think it really made it pop out it's pretty cool um yeah so um our first balsa bait online and um it's a coffin bill coffin bill that was the only thing i didn't make on this that was 100 percent. but like i said earlier i want to get to where the point where i make 
all my baits with 100% um, homemade stuff. So eyes, bills, everything. And the next wooden bait I got coming up for you, where I'm going to show you a kind of a unique thing to use for um, a call uh, for a bill, and uh, show you cutting that out on my new moto moto saw. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, the weather's kind of messy today, so that's why I'm inside. And I'll probably go out. Um, I think I'm going to start doing short videos on these baits as as running them in the water um, on days when I can get out there and run them in the pond. Um, so we'll look for those. Um, I know everybody wants to see this bait run, and um, I do too. I'm pretty confident it's going to go go good. I've made these before different paint schemes um but i hope you like the baits uh, i'm gonna start doing some more wooden baits and basswood uh poplar and balsa wood but um yeah so i hope you picked up something hope you enjoyed it and um if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button we're almost to a thousand subscribers i'm i'm really excited about that i got some new uh Stickers on the board, and I got JJD Custom Lures, and I got Fish Math, Bait on Target, fishmath.net, so um, go check those guys out, and um, until next time, stay crusty, my friends. <laughs>